turn five years old on Saturday, November 19th, which is this Saturday. I cannot wait to celebrate my, um, my fifth anniversary on my channel. And also, I'm going to make a big celebration video on my channel on Saturday, November 19th. So stay tuned for that. And also, yeah. And also, hi guys. My name is Evan Ferguson. And also today, I'm going to be reviewing, leading up to Strange World, I'm going to be reviewing Big Hero 6. So yeah. So before I go, I'm going to say this. Harry, baby. Cue the intro. So yeah, so I'm going to read this plot on the internet, so yeah, so basically what the plot's about, robotics, poultry, Guido lives in San of the city of San Francisco next to his older brother Tadashi, um, Guido's closest competition is Baymax, a robot at wholesome purpose is to take care of people when diverting turning of events throw hero into the middle of a dangerous plot i meant a dangerous plot i meant um he transforms baymax and his friends gogo -Go, wasabi the um honey lemon and fred into a brand of high teach heroes so yeah so that's basically what the plot's about about this movie so yes i did remember this movie actually did came out at the Tokyo International Film Festival on October 23rd of 2014 and it also came out in theaters on it actually came out theatrically on November on November um on November 7th of 2014 as well which also yeah which which it did came out November 7th of 2014 in theaters and also yeah this is actually i know it's based on um the um man of action comics which was actually a short-lived um um comic series which the same t the, and also speaking of on um, man of comics that i mean the comics of big hero sex were the the same um creators who um who did the ben 10 series which is also really exciting so yeah so um yeah and also this movie is also directed by don hall who who also directed ryan lost dragon and the 2011 Marine of the Pooh movie which he directed it with um the director which he directed with um the meet robinson's director which i kind of forgot his name but yeah but also he also directed it with chris williams as well but also he but speaking of don hall he's going to be um directing um um strange world which comes out next um when which comes out this wednesday actually on november 23rd of this year so yeah which i cannot wait for that so yeah so so yeah guys so and also this movie is also directed by um roy connery which who's also going to be um directing strange i mean he he's not directing strange world he is um producing strange world so yeah he is producing it which is also very exciting so yeah so yeah guys so what do I think of this movie? I have to say, this is definitely my favorite movie of 2014. And also, yeah. And also, um, um, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much, um, um, War Machine Studios, um, um, Instead of Marvel, even though this movie is not a Marvel movie. It's, it's actually, um, a Disney film, which, um, um, Ever since um Marvel bought Fox um 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 Disney I mean um he wanted to integrate something from Marvel to Walt Disney Studios and they uh, and also John Hall actually found a comic found um comics of Big Hero Six and said oh I can make this a movie but um 
Marvel Enterprises did agree that Big Hero 6 should primarily be its own entity. Yes, I did got that from anime, actually. Which, um, Marvel wouldn't plan on, um, making this a part of their cinematic universe or, or comic tie-ins, etc. Which, that's really, that's, that's really great as well. And also, yeah. And now let's talk about the cast of this movie, which, um... The actor who played Baymax is definitely phenomenal. I mean, yeah. And his voice... And even the um, actor, um, Scott... Um, I kind of forgot his last name. Um, Scott Atkinson, which I kind of... Sorry, mispronounced his name, but I thought his voice was phenomenal. Baymax, and also... His voice fits so well for this character. And also, yeah. And also Ryan Potter as... Um, um, Hiro Hamada. Which, he's phenomenal in this movie as well. And also, yeah, and even the rest of the cast in this movie is really good, especially, yeah, Alan Tudyk as um, Alex or, or Clark, which also, yeah, this is actually his third role, this is actually Alan Tudyk's third role Mission Studios movie, um, after, um, voicing, um, 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 King Candy and Rick and Ralph and, um, Duke Weselton from, um, from Frozen, which also, yeah, which is, which Alan Tudyk has been voicing a character for our Mission Studios movie ever since Wreck and Ralph in 2012, which I actually heard that he's going to be voicing um, Valentino in Wish, which I cannot wait for that as well. And also, yeah, and even the rest of the cast of this movie is absolutely phenomenal, but yeah. But now, let's talk about the music and the score of this movie, which is actually composed by the one and only Henry Jackman, which I find his score of this movie is definitely phenomenal. I mean, yeah, it's definitely fantastic. It still holds up to this day eight years later. I mean, yeah, it's also, it's very heartfelt. And also, yeah, and also speaking of this movie, this movie is also very heartfelt and emotional as well. And also, yeah. And now let's talk about the animation of this movie, which also still holds up today eight years later. I mean, I mean, the world of San Francisco looks so grand and so big and, so so gorgeous to look like even though um even though the um even though the big hero six comics from man of action were actually set in japan but this was actually set in san francisco which honestly the animation of big hero six still looks gorgeous to this day i mean it still looks fantastic i mean that is, i mean the the world building in this movie looks fantastic and also yeah, the animation in this movie, not to say, it is fantastic, so yeah. So overall, guys, I have nothing else to say about this movie. So yeah, I mean, Big Hero 6 is definitely a fantastic World Mission Studios movie, so yeah. So, if you haven't seen this movie, where have you been? I highly recommend it, so yeah. So, I'm going to give Big Hero 6 a 10 out of 10 spectacular. So yeah, guys, what do you think of this video? Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe my channel, and make sure to like this video, so yeah. And also, guess what, guys? Two more days until my fifth anniversary on my channel, which I cannot wait for that. And also, stay tuned for my uh, movie review tomorrow with Sabrina on on Friday, November 18th of this year. So, yeah. So, I'll see you guys there, and bye.